Jim and Friends is brought to you by Askers. I'm honored to be in the studio with two very distinguished NBC newsmen, and I'm going to chat with them a few minutes to learn something of their off-camera personalities. You know how when a newsman is giving his news, he's so self-controlled and precise? Well, we want these two guys just to relax and enjoy a couple moments of pleasant conversation. Here first we have... Chad Huntley, NBC News, New York. Yes, indeed, but let's not be quite so formal. Why don't you just call me Kermit, and I'll call you, uh, uh, well, what would you like me to call you? Chad Huntley. Oh, okay, Chad Huntley. Tell me, as a newsman, you're in a position to evaluate all the news and wire services. What do you think is the very best news service? NBC News. Oh, is that right? You like NBC News best? Any particular NBC News office? Washington, Los Angeles? New York. Uh-huh. Well, I guess that figures you working there and all. One last question, Chet. I'm sure you're familiar with our show, Sam and Friends in Washington, D.C. Uh, I wonder who your favorite character is. Sam, York, me, Harry? York. You say York. Gee, that's nice. Well, I'll be sure to tell him, and thank you very much for being our guest. Our next guest, I'm sure you all know, but I'll let him introduce himself. David Brinkley, NBC News, Washington. You know, I bet some of the smart alecks in the audience have already figured out what you're going to say when I talk to you. But never mind them. Just relax and be yourself, you know. First, let's talk about all-time great newsmen. Now, if you were to name the best newsmen you know, I guess you'd name Edward R. Murrow, Morgan Beatty, Lowell Thomas. And David Brinkley. Yes, of course. And then there's Frank Blair and Richard Harkness and... Chad Huntley. All right, Chuck, we've finished with you. We're talking to Dave now. You know, Dave, NBC has such a great news staff, but CBS does a good job, too. Uh, where do you suppose they get all their news tips? NBC News. Well, I see the two fellows that have a high opinion of NBC News are Chet Huntley and David Brinkley. Brinkley. David Brinkley. Oh, yes, I meant Brinkley. Now then, one last question of a political nature. Thinking in terms of the 1964 presidential race, who do you think will be elected? You know, what's the first name for president that comes into your head? Washington. Ho, ho! Always a snappy and humorous reply from David Brinkley. Brinkley. Yes, of course, Brinkley. This has been an interview of Chet Huntley and David Brinkley, and this program has come to you from... NBC News, New York. No, no, this program is coming from... NBC News, Washington. New York. Washington. New York. Washington. Oh, let's not fight, fellas. The program is coming to you from... Washington. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new... Hold it. Wait a minute. You can't come shouting in here. We're on the air. Blast off. I've got news that's too hot to keep. Ladies! Hold it. Look, Professor, I'm a patient man, but what could be important enough to shout about? All this confusion could cost us our jobs. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll try to remain calm as I tell you about the new SK idea in flavor. It's the new SK pork and bacon sausage. It combines the wonderful taste of pure pork sausage with the delicious flavor of hickory smoked quality bacon. Well, why didn't you say so sooner? Pork and bacon is a brand new flavor for tasty breakfast, and it cooks to a tender, meaty richness every time. The people over at SK make it fresh every day. Uh, get some new SK pork and bacon sausage soon. Today! Remember, with SK quality meats, you can taste the difference quality makes. <laughs> Salmon Friends has been brought to you by SK. What would be, ma'am? I'd like an omelet, a Western omelet. I'm sorry, but we didn't get a delivery of eggs this morning. The eggs we have are pretty old. Oh, well, they make the best sort of a Western omelet. You know what I mean? An adult Western. Sheesh, that's the cue. Sam and Friends present Powder Burns. The story of the violence that moves west and a man who moves with it. I'm that man, Matt Tilly, U.S. Marshal. The first man they look for and the last I hope they find. Blasted bill collectors. It's a chancy job. But I managed to stay fearless, brave, but always discreet.
Marshal Dillon. Marshal Dillon? Who, who, who's there? That's me, Pester. Why, Marshal Dilly, what in the world are you doing under the desk? I was tying my shoelaces. Did you hear shooting just now? But you wear cowboy boots, Marshal Dilly. They don't have laces. It wasn't an easy job, Pester. I was just out target shooting, Marshal Dilly. I hope I didn't scare you. Scare me? Why, well, don't be ridiculous. See who it is, Pester. I've got to tie my shoelaces again. Shoelaces? But you don't have any. See who it is. Esther, it's your girlfriend. Oh, you mean Kitty? No, the other one, Doggy. Send her in. And Pester? Yes, Marshal? You know that bunch of squares that came to town? Yes. Well, go out and shoot them. Shoot them, Marshal Dilly? You can do it, Pester. You've always been a square shooter. Sheesh. All right. Morning, Miss Doggy. Morning, Pester. Matt, I've come to warn you. To warn me? Black Bart is coming in on the next stage. Matt, what are you doing under the desk? I'm tying my shoelaces. But you don't have shoelaces on your cowboy boots. Everybody tries to tell me my business. Black Bart says you got to have a show down in the middle of the street at 12 noon. You mean high noon? Do not forsake me, oh my... No, that's a different story. But be careful, Matt. Be careful? You don't think I'm going through with it, do you? You've got to. You have a reputation. Matt, if you go through with it, maybe you'll get a good reputation. But he's fast, doggy. I'd be up against an old pro. He's played this game for a long time. To back down now would be really silly, Dilly. Well, all right, I'll do it. Oh, Matt, I knew you would. I'll go tell everyone. Uh, Marshal Dilly, I just heard you're going to the showdown on Main Street. Yeah, so what? I was just wondering what movie was playing. Movie was playing? Yeah, at the showdown on Main Street. Sheesh. Why don't you just go away and leave me alone, Pester? Let's see. Black Bart is coming in on the next stage, Coach. I wonder when that is. Somebody call me. Who are you? Thaddeus Quentin Ovaltone, at your service. I'm a dramatics teacher at the Bijou Theater. The Bijou Theater? That's the new showdown on Main Street. Good grief. You teach dramatics, then you're a, a... Uh-oh. That's right. I'm a stagecoach. Oh, get out of here. Sheesh. It's 12 o'clock. Matt Dilly, are you in there? I'm a-challenging you. I hear you, Black Bart. I'm a-coming. I'm a-waiting. This is it, Black Bart. It's either me or you. You make one more move. My next move will be your last, Black Bart. Just try it. Okay, here it comes. My pawn takes your bishop. Checkmate. Oh, you got me, Marshal. Nice play, Matt. For a while there, I thought it was going to be a draw. You know, sometimes I think Matt takes this chess game too seriously. I play chess too, you know. Do you play very well? No, only chess fair. Sheesh, what a lousy pun, Pester. <laughs> This has been Pun Smoke. There lives a whale, she eats pork chops by the bale, by the hogshead, by the schooner, sometimes by the pillbox. Her name is Luna, she's a peach, but don't leave food within her reach. Or babies, or nursemaids, or chocolate ice cream sodas. When she's happy, how she smiles, you see teeth for miles and miles, and tonsils, and spare ribs, and things too fierce to mention. When she's happy, how she plays, she rolls her eyes for days and days and vibrates and yodels.
and breaks the Ten Commandments. What do you do in a case like that? What do you do but jump on your hat and your grandmother and your toothbrush and anything that's helpless? To be precise, to a gold on brown head cooks up nice. Hickory smoke the bacon, hip bands fell, says Scooby the yum, your man the man, what else? Now, pure pork sausages, you will find, are made fresh daily, four different kinds. Dixie made farm fresh breakfast lengths and country style. Yeah, 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 but don't forget, SK pork and bacon sausage, it's the best yet. There are many more items to call to your attention, but they just become much too numerous to mention, like Frank's. Uh, Frank's, you're welcome. And Scrapple, yeah, Scrapple. And luncheon meats, too. I could keep on naming products till my face turns blue. It's already green. It's always green. Well, man, get on down to the end of the scene. The end of the lecture, before I dismiss, is our little slogan, simply this. By SK Meats, make no mistakes. And taste the difference quality makes. WRC TV, Channel 4, Washington. Salmon Friends is brought to you by SK. You should assist me later in the song, no? When I give you the signal, say, c'est bon, c'est bon, like that. C'est bon, c'est bon, like that. Pardonnez-moi, monsieur, just say, c'est bon, c'est bon, forget it like that. C'est bon, c'est bon, forget it like that. No, 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 just say, c'est bon, c'est bon, period. C'est bon, c'est bon, period. Stop the music, stop it. Repeat after me, see? Bon, bon, si bon, si bon. It's good, yes? It's good, yes. It's magnifique, monsieur. <laughs> Je t'en verra to meet heads. C'est si bon. De parti n'importe. Bras dessus, bras dessus. Quand j'entends des chisons. Si bon, si bon. Too soon, monsieur. Do not call me. I will call you. C'est bon. Désertir des mondes, mais partir rien des deux. Mais qui est dit c'est long. C'est bon, c'est bon. Tout ça, monsieur, I did not give you the signal. Oh, il fait. Renvoyons notre émilé, rapier. Les pressons des slavies nous envient. Why do you not wait for the cotton-picking signal? Ah! All right, messieurs, is the signal be my guest? C'est bon, c'est bon. Oh, it's real, George. C'est bon, c'est bon. It's so good, I may kill myself. C'est bon, c'est bon. Je jure que j'ai millionnaire. C'est bon, c'est bon. I think she... C'est bon, c'est bon. Motorcycle with wire wheels. C'est bon, c'est bon. Mink sweatshirts. C'est bon, c'est bon. Monogrammed. C'est bon, c'est bon. J'ai qu'à cogiter les passants de la rive. C'est bon, c'est bon. Voir sur place life raft, non? C'est bon, c'est bon. With two pair of pedals. C'est bon, c'est bon. Autograph picture King Farouk. C'est bon, c'est bon. Je sais beaucoup yo-yos. C'est bon, c'est bon. C'est la CC. Chicken is the fairest chicken of them all. What? It's quality chicken. SK gives you tender, meaty drumsticks, meaty chicken breasts, meaty wings. There's no waste. You can choose exactly the assortment 
You won. You brute! You ingrate! Look, I'll give you just one more chance. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the smartest of them all? SK Frying Chicken. Every piece comes smartly cleaned and ready to cook. Oh, stop about SK Chicken. What I want to know is how can I look smart to my Prince Charming? Serve SK. <coughs> Your prince will taste the difference quality makes and think you're a smart chicken, too. Me? Yes, even you. Hooray for SK! <coughs> Salmon Friends <coughs> is brought to you by... Ask her. Let's start the thing over. I'm sorry I lost it up. Let's start the thing over. Ah! On top of old Bob. Covered with snow. Covered with snow. We're singing the wrong song. We're singing the wrong song. No, no, now you've ruined everything. Egad. Egad, you wonder my skin. I sacrificed anything. Come to make me say, have you there? I'll sacrifice anything, come what might for the sake of having you near. Better the warning boys that come tonight, or repeat the repeat tonight. In spite of the warning boys that come tonight, and repeat and repeat and repeat. Good evening. I'm Ed Burrow, and the name of this show is Poison to Poison. Tonight, we're visiting the home of a very famous motion picture and television director. Are you there, Alfred? Good evening, Ed. And welcome to my humble little sanctuary. Alfred, you have a very fascinating home. Thank you, Ed. And exquisitely furnished, may I add. For instance, that armchair you're sitting in is very striking. And very expensive, too. Why is it so expensive? <laughs> it's made out of real arms. What is that music I hear? Hi-fi from your phonograph? No, Ed. That's FM from Mortuary. Alfred, what's in all those drawers along the wall? Well, this one here, marked F, is full of feet. From here, it looks like it's full of hands. Excuse me, Ed. I'm so untidy. Where does that door lead to, Alfred? To my chambers. Your private chambers? No, my guest chambers. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 
sorry to tell her. What happened, Alfred? I stepped up a cat's tail. That's strange. I didn't see any cat. There isn't any. Just a tail. Oh, I, I see. And this is my library, Ed. Very charming, Alfred. What's in that bottle on the top shelf? Old granddad on my father's side. Beg pardon, sir. Graves, please don't interrupt me. I'm on television. Live, sir? Perish the thought. Are you going to do any other television besides your own series? Oh, I may do a ghost shot on the Scary Mason show, but really I'm very busy preparing my new cinema. Oh? What's the name of it? It's a musical called Death Takes a Holiday, cha-cha-cha, with an all-star cast. Goulbrenner, Perry Comer, Red Skeleton, Slab Hunter, and Mortician Saul. Thank you, Alfred, for letting us visit with you this evening on Poison to Poison. The pleasure was all mine, Ed. Good night and good luck. Have you ever been hungry in the middle of the night? That happens to me sometimes. And then I go raid the icebox. For example, the other night I did that. We had some leftover Welsh rarebit. I found that and a couple of crackers and a piece of celery and an olive. And I sat down in the middle of the night. I was very, very hungry. Oh, it tasted so good. You have no idea what, what it means sometimes in the middle of the night when you're hungry like this. Now you have a little something to tide you over till breakfast. Mm. I just, it's one of my bad habits actually, but I, should, I shouldn't be up like this. But I get so hungry. Mm. It's silly to say this, but I look at a little olive like this. Mm. And it tastes wonderful. This has got a seed in it. I like them pitted too. And you don't have to worry about the stone. Mm. I swear I do this practically every night of the week. Mm. Oh, not every night, but pretty near. I mean, <laughs> they'll eat the leaves. Why not? Well, <laughs> guess I made my plate clean. <laughs>
Let's see if it says here that then you draw the X. Let's see if it says here that then you draw the X. Hmm. Five. Hmm. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm taking a course in visual thinking. It teaches you how to visualize your thoughts. Watch. Q. See that? Man, you're just a beginner. I'm an old hand at this stuff. Watch. Hey, a real watch. With moving parts, no less. G. Have you taken this course already? No, man, I'm a natural. Been doing it for years. What for? Oh, I used to use it with my piano lessons to help me remember the music. I found I could picture the music just by going, da, 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 da. Oh? Then I studied chords and I learned to remember them. Bong, bong, bong. Gee. Then came the more advanced music. Cantata and Fugue by Bach. Beethoven symphonies, all like this. The trouble was, I kept on advancing. And then I got interested in jazz. Oh, I don't like jazz. Jazz has a very different look to it. It moves, see, like this. Gee, I see. Yeah, and here's where it can get dangerous. Why? That doesn't seem very dangerous to me. Well, jazz tends to linger and you can't get away from it. So you go this way, or you go this way, and it stays right with you. Oh, it bugs you then? Mmm, not bad. Yeah, it does. Well, uh, how do you get rid of it? Well, this may sound weird, but you erase it by saying backwards what you said forwards to make it in the first place, you follow? I'm confused. Well, in this case, I say... <laughs> That's wonderful. Do some more. Okay. And now you uh, take what you just said and turn it around. Right. That's marvelous. Do a bigger one. Well, this is where you can get in trouble, but I'll try. Now you say all that backwards and erase it? That's a problem. Why? I forgot what I said. Well, try. Okay. It's only getting bigger. I know. I'm not saying the first thing backwards. I'm saying something new. Well, keep trying. You see what's going to happen, don't you? No, what? It's going to erase us. Oh, no. Yeah. Help. 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 Yeah, this is like a good spot here, Tex. Yeah, all right. Oh, now this. Hold up, Tex. Oh, 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 oh. All right, now. All nice right. boy. Which one of us is going to get off first? Well, yeah. Well, I'm going to... Let me try to get down first. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. Oh, hold, hold up there. Oh, oh, boy. Oh. Wait a minute. My foot's... My foot's hard. Yeah, wait. Well, let me... Let me ride over there. All right. Well, help me pull you. All right. Now, wait a minute. All right. There you go. Yeah. Oh, hold there. All right. Hold, 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 hold up there. Hold, hold up. I'm facing the wrong way. Yeah. Swung right around. Maybe you better get down and maybe you can help me off. All right. Wait a minute. Let me, uh, I'll ride over back and see if I can help you. Yeah, back him up. Now, hold, 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 hold up, boy. All right, now, now let me then. just swing my left leg. Left, left or right first? Uh, swing the left one over and hang on with the right. All right. Good. Uh, now, hold. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, now I got one foot on the ground. Hey, come back. Ho, 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 ho. You got one foot on the ground. Ho, ho. Wish I could help you, but I'm facing the wrong way. Yeah, wait, I'm coming back now. All right. Oh. All right, now. Oh. Yeah, I've been down. Oh, let me see if I can take some... Hey, wait, I got an idea. Right over under that tree and grab hold of that limb. All right. And then just hang there and uh, have the horse go out from under you. All right. Ho, ho, ho. Hang on now. I am. Wait a minute. If I have to go, I'll be 10 feet from the ground. Yeah, that's right. Probably be too far to fall. Come on. Salmon friends. It's brought to you by.